And I think this is very, very bullish, right? And it's not just bullish over the next three months. It's not just like a, a little hit. No, this is bullish over the next three, four, five years. We could really be in for a very long secular bull market here. We're looking at, you know, 10 times as much money that has ever been involved in Bitcoin, hitting the Bitcoin ecosystem. Mathematician and investor Fred Kruger is one of the most bullish investors on Bitcoin's future. In his latest video update, he's predicting a massive influx of money into the Bitcoin ecosystem, potentially 10 times more than what we've seen before, and here's why. After the SEC approved several spot Bitcoin ETFs earlier this year, investors eagerly awaited the 13F disclosures which reveals who has been buying into Bitcoin. The filings were released last month and they revealed names like the State of Wisconsin Investment Board, Wells Fargo and JP Morgan amongst many others who had been buying up the Bitcoin ETFs. The latest round of disclosures showed mammoth financial services firm Morgan Stanley has bought $270 million worth of Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF, GBTC. This now makes Morgan Stanley one of the largest institutional holders of Bitcoin. With over $1.5 trillion in assets under management, this allocation from Morgan Stanley signals the Wall Street Titans' growing conviction in Bitcoin's role in portfolios. It joins other major banks like JP Morgan, BNP Paribas, and the Royal Bank of Canada that have also disclosed spot Bitcoin ETF purchases. With this, Kruger believes that we're on the verge of a long-term bull run for Bitcoin, possibly lasting three to five years as he is certain that this wave of capital will drive up demand for Bitcoin, and this growing institutional adoption would be a massive leap for Bitcoin's mainstream adoption. With current holders like himself unwilling to sell, the limited supply combined with increased demand is set to push prices to higher highs. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video where Kruger reveals how the Bitcoin power law model is completely unaffected by political administrations, Federal Reserve interest rate policies, or regulation from the SEC. Also guys, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Without further ado, let's see what Fred Kruger has to say. And I think this chart, I think really illustrates exactly what's going on. It's just annual returns. Uh, so we see, you know, we've had obviously the first four years, the first three years were exceptional, right? With Mt. Gox doing 5,000% in, uh, in 2013, so it was up 50x in 2013. Then the crash of Mount Gox. Uh, then we have the sort of second bull market, culminating in the 14x rise in in December. It actually was, it went higher in December, right? But like it, it only shows up as 14x. Um, followed by the you know 75% retracement. Followed by, you know, almost the same kind of thing, but on a much more muted scale in the next cycle. Uh, and then we have this cycle. So, I, you know, I would caution that, you know, do we expect 2026 to be a big negative? I, I'm not so sure it will be. Um, you know, do I expect more double digit returns here? Yeah, I do. I, I think, I, I mean, triple digit. I think we're going to get. 100% return rate in 2025. We might have 100% or 75% in 2026. This is this is going to be a great uh, four years here. So, and by the way, this is only half done. So, we got we're in pretty good shape. We're as Matt says, we're exactly right on target. And I agree with this. This is this is an exciting time to be alive. It's an amazing time to be involved in Bitcoin because. You're really getting in before this sort of tidal wave of money has had time to sort of deploy. So just to recap, I think, you know, we're looking at, you know, 10 times as much money that has ever been involved in Bitcoin, hitting the Bitcoin ecosystem. And they're going to have to buy this Bitcoin from, from people like me. Um, that's just a fact, you know. And guys like me don't want to sell their Bitcoin. So... That's going to push the price higher. It's supply, it's demand. And, uh, you know, I think that the numbers are extremely compelling. If you look at the wealth that's in America, you have 20% um, is self-directed. That's people who trade for their own account. 40% is managed money. So that's people who trade, who make investment decisions for other people. And then 40% is institutions. So... Pension funds, insurance companies, other 
other people who manage money institutionally. And until the CTF, which happened on January, I think, 11th, you had no way for these 80% of these institutions to take part in this market. And even the other 20%, they really had to do something, an extra step, right? They had to either self-custody, which is incredibly complicated for the average person, or they had to trust an exchange like Coinbase or Kraken, which although they work fine, they're not FDIC insured, they're not common names, they're not like Schwab or um, you know, Vanguard or Fidelity or something like that. So until re very recently, most, let's just say 90% of the people either were completely shut out or just they're, they're basically very highly incentivized not to partake in the Bitcoin marketplace. And that all changed. Now, it didn't completely change overnight, because again, as Matt said, the fact that the Bitcoin ETF was approved doesn't mean that it's going to be approved on all the platforms. So, uh, for example, I have an account at Goldman Sachs. I can't buy uh, Bitcoin ETFs on Goldman Sachs. Same with Morgan Stanley. Same with a lot of places, right? And uh, so we're still in the sort of rollout phase of the ability of these platforms to offer the ETF to their users. So... And furthermore, finally, if you look at, you know, the, the advisor market, that market takes a while to kind of get going. And why does it? Well, they've got to make two kinds of due diligence decisions. First of all, they have to decide, really, if their firm wants to be involved in Bitcoin. Uh, some people don't. Vanguard doesn't. They, they don't believe that Bitcoin is a real, a real asset. They don't really like gold either. Other people are just looking at Bitcoin very much for the first time, right? So, you know, if you're a pension fund or an insurance company, you may have never, you have all this, this mechanism for looking at stocks or bonds. You know, there's, there's, there's people who understand the markets, they, they've got models, they've, you know, they've never really looked at Bitcoin as a, you know, in a sort of serious way, like, we're going to put one, two, three, five percent of our money in Bitcoin. So they've got to do a little bit of due diligence, or actually a lot of due diligence, before they even come to that decision, um, because they're, they've got uh, fiduciary duty for a lot of money, and nobody wants to lose their job because they bought Bitcoin and it turns out to be a scam. It's not a scam, but you know they need to get to that point. So we forget that as Bitcoiners. So I think this process is now. You know, we're now, you know, five months into this process where uh, we're just starting to see some of these um, places like Morgan Stanley. There's news and not quite news, but there's rumors that they may be close to accepting Bitcoin on their platform. So this rollout phase is just getting going right now. And um, and I think this is very, very bullish. Right. And it's not just bullish over the next three months. It's not just like a, a little hit. No, this is bullish over the next three, four, five years. We could really be in for a very long secular bull market here. We're looking at you know ten times as much money that has ever been involved in Bitcoin hitting the Bitcoin ecosystem. So there's Fred Krueger's bullish insight on Bitcoin. Some people may think that the premise of Bitcoin superiority over other asset classes is too good to be true. But listening to Krueger's explanation about the Bitcoin market and the power law model can give us a fresh perspective on its true capability. Now guys, if you're still watching, you're clearly interested in crypto and I have something just for you. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in the crypto and Bitcoin world, don't forget to subscribe to our daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It covers expert predictions, breaking news and top on-chain analysis all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description to join over 60,000 others and becoming a better crypto investor right now. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and that provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one and as always, all the best.